welcome to my hospital bag video so i've obviously i mean i'm 38 weeks obviously packed this ready so i guess this is more of like unpack it with me let's pack my hospital bag together and um, i wasn't sure if i'm gonna make a long video about this and then i thought to myself i've watched at least 10 youtube videos on what to pack for uh, like what to pack in my hospital bag so why not just make my own one all of, all of you so i'm just gonna pretend like i'm doing this one of my friends who needs to pack their hospital bag so i hope that you enjoy and i'm just gonna chat you guys through it so one of the biggest things or tips that i saw online and um, which i thought was pretty brilliant was to use a suitcase and divide it into um like two sections as you just get a suitcase um and the reason for that is on the one side you have your sort of birth prep stuff um so before you give birth during you during birth and then you have your postpartum care i guess um so just another thing i am i've obviously mentioned this before but i'm going to be giving a natural birth and um, hoping to so my hospital bag would look a bit different to someone who's going for a um, planned cesarean i have quite a few toys in this side of um, this suitcase that you probably have not seen yet so we're going to start off with the during birth my contractions have started at home i'm moving over to the hospital what am i going to need this is like how am i going to manage pain basically and um, so i mean this is like i said already packed so i'm basically going to unpack it and then just show you what i got um first of all and probably the most important thing i will get into detail about this in a different video in a different post on instagram is our um next bio stem cells which is something that we have decided to do for our little boy so i'll obviously try my best to delay cord clapping and then after about a minute you can also get some stem cells and then keep that um for him or for a sibling or anyone but as i've mentioned i'll go into more details but this jared and i've already filled this out all the paperwork and everything is in here as soon as i get to the hospital it's going to be like yeah i'm going to push a baby out you take this okay so that's in there um and then boring stuff like hospital forms and and yeah i've also got like you'll see i've got some pre stick with like some birth affirmations that i just want to go through when i'm actually in the hospital like i don't, I don't know what it's going to be like i might be in labor for 12 hours guys i'm sweating already but i can't put on the air con because then you guys are not going to be able to hear me anyways like some birth preferences pain relief methods and things that i prefer um yes definitely gonna do a separate video on the birth story where i'll incorporate these but this is all the hospital things that's going into my bag um then this i got it comes with a strap that you just put in the microwave but i'll be honest like i actually prefer just a normal warm water bag um but this is probably a bit more safe for hospital you can tie it around your belly or around your back because if you've ever been a neighbor you'll know that that is where the pain is mostly it's in your lower back and lower belly so apparently it feels like period pain i mean i can't tell you yet um so this is quite easy you just put it in the microwave this unfortunately i got in the uk while i was there so i haven't seen anything like that on tape lot there's one really annoying fly in this room then another thing that i got from my doula is a tens machine so this is um those pads that you put on your back um pain relief so some of these stuff i obviously start to use at home really when i'm going to first stage labor anyways um some like stress balls yeah fun things that a lot of you probably don't know about this is obviously things that i've learned over the past few months of preparing myself in the best way possible for a natural delivery um then i'm not a massive straw drinker i prefer to like chug it down um but someone actually made them to me like why are you busy in a certain position and i don't know whatever happens you can't change positions to drink water and staying hydrated during labor is really important so i got one of these from cotton on and then i've mentioned <laughs> sorry literally refilled this bag three times anyway so typical snack that i'm going with is basically i'm preparing for a marathon like um the same way i would refuel in a half marathon not that i've done a marathon before is what i'm going to do for birth and that's the advice that i've been doing so you've got protein snacks and things are more like for afterwards for the day i've got quite a few protein bars um higher calorie snacks because i don't think you feel like nibbling same as when you're halfway through a marathon the last thing you feel like doing is eating but you should be eating um 
So I've got these from um, Macadamia, it's like Macadamia bars and nice and things. And then in general, like Future Life bars, anything that I like, all of my favorite things are in here. Um, and obviously Jared will also eat some of this, depending on how long we are in there. But like I said, this bag is probably gonna be packed another few times before I actually go into labor. So that's in here. And that's, I think, for birth and for after birth. And I can't imagine eating that whole bag in one day. Then, now we're going over to the postpartum baby is born, um, hopefully on my skin, and yes, what am I going to need? Let's see. So, I've really, um, how can I put this? A lot of women who have given birth before have said to me, I just packed the bare minimum, I completely get that, and I've tried to stick that. Something that I will, again, go into detail in another video is I've decided to give birth in Cape Town. I moved doctors and hospitals at 33 weeks which i've never said on instagram by the way um and i'm also not going to go into the detail about that now but my drive is a bit longer than a lot of people's drive so i'd rather go prepared not have jared or my sister or someone come back and forth and get something at home um so i'm just going prepared but not overpacking so basically what i've done is i've got in these um what do you call them like a4 sleeves at P and A. So this is the one thing I know that a lot of you ask me about. And then these are from Woods. It's those like three in one vanities that you buy at the till. I've always had it and I'm just gonna use it now. So let's start with these. I've got two days outfits. Um if I need another day, like I said, Jared can come back and get it for me. Um but for now I really just need two days. Um in here I've got like this is a button down PJs. Yes, that's what I've done. And then just some nice big black panties. Someone did mention to me, you need to make sure that you have like enough space for a pad too on there. Anyways, that's nothing glamorous, but I'm not really sure if these are going to work, but I've got backup ones, so that's not a stress for me. My plan is really to be naked most of the time and just have skin to skin. So day one, day two, again, panties. I actually got a bra in here, a chill set. If I feel like getting dressed that day, I don't know what I'm going to feel like. And um, pajamas again. You'll see most of the stuff are quite dark for obvious reasons. Um, and then here we've got like your feminine hygiene products. All the fun things. Oh, something that wasn't in my snack bag was my coconut water, which is in the fridge. It's cold. Um, and then also something else that's in the freezer is this fanny pad. So this is something I got off, I got it off take a lot. It's basically like an eye strip that you put down there when things are a bit sore. Yeah. So that and I've got these disposable like carol panties. A lot of you recommended this as well. Um, and then I've got like a spritz for bits, it's called, and it's instant relief for down there as well. Um, this unfortunately I did not get in South Africa, I also got this in the UK um, They just have quite a lot of natural birth preparation things there that we don't have here And then um, this is nipple pads, I think you call it um, I don't know how much I'm going to leak, I don't know if I'm going to leak um, At this stage I haven't had any leakage, if I can put it that way I do have colostrum, I did not harvest it, a lot of you asked um, I'm sort of just going with it you know, I don't know if I'm going to need it. My lactation consultant said to me, if you are a high-risk pregnancy or you're expecting a prem baby, that's a good idea, which I've passed that now. So um, I'm just sort of going to go with it and see if he latches in the hospital. I've already done my reading and everything and what I need. Um, so this is all like feminine hygiene products that I will need in hospital after birth. In here is my vanity kit. Guys, I'm not going to go through this. Dry shampoo, little body wash that I got, deodorant, toothbrush moisturizer lotion all of that um and then <laughs> this little guy i can't remember what you call this but anyways i feel like this is self-explanatory but for not a lot of people it won't be so this is to clean your bits afterwards because also again it's quite sensitive and you can't wipe um so i've been advised to get one of these pair is it a period bubble? I don't know, I can't remember. Again, pads. Um, so a lot of you are with the latex pads as well. I've got a packet of that. I'm actually going to keep it at home and then just decide which ones I like the most. And um, these ones are quite 
had it. Then, um, so this is like a random, a random few things. Apparently quite constipated after birth, which in my life I've always had that problem. So I know what to take. I take my aloe vera crystals, which is the only thing that works for me. And um, I've also got other stuff in here. Charger, hydration, electrolytes, um, painkillers, which I'm not even actually sure I can take after birth. Um, a dark towel, I've got my Havianas for shower and I guess moving around in hospital. And then I've also got slippers. I think I got these as bridesmaids gift, bridesmaid gift. Um, so these are going in as well. So that's really my bag. Um, I feel like there's a pharmacy at the hospital. If I, there's anything else I need, I could just, I can't walk down there. If Jared can walk down there and just grab me plasters or painkillers or whatever. So I really try to like pack the basics, but bear in mind that you might need more than the basics or you might not need all your basics. Um, I'd rather go prepared. Then his bag. I feel like it's embarrassing to show his bag against mine because like, I'm going on a massive holiday to the Maldives and this poor child is going to his grand for the night. Anyways, his bag and my beautiful John Kenny black leather bag, which I absolutely love. I've already put on the straps that's going to go onto my pram. Um, again, as I mentioned, um, I would love to do as much skin, skin, skin to skin as possible. So I don't feel like I need 40 outfits and I'm not doing a photo shoot in the hospital with the little name tags and hi my name is whatever his name is going to be anyway um so i'm not really packing any of those things if you do it love it for you help me okay in here we've got so obviously these nappies and things don't go in here but i've got one packet of newborn nappies that are the size of like that was this small it's adorable one packet of that one packet of wipes and then i've got my um, silicone milk pump saver which all of you recommended so thank you for that um, and then in here I've got two days of outfits basically same thing sleeves um, and in each of them I've got a short short sleeve baby girl a long sleeve a swaddle socks mittens and a bird cloth and a little beanie and socks I think I said socks so everything's in here so it's so convenient when you're in bed and you're busy breastfeeding or you're busy with the baby you can just be like Jared just passed me the day one thing. There will be a beanie in. There will be a muslin cuff in. Um, this is just so convenient. So I've got two days of that. And then I've got like one extra one, which is uh, not to three months because this child is already 3.2 kilos. So he might not even wear a newborn. Um, an extra zero to three months. An extra baby grow. An extra, what's that? Um, swaddle blanket it's also like swaddle velcro swaddle and then these little babies that all of you love um linen savers and then also i'm not going to bath him in hospital it's not the plan um so i have really haven't put in any products to bath in there i'm gonna try and stretch it out for a few days as a bit for the skin i've got a sterilized bottle which isn't sterilized yet and um, i've got the basic things like um I've got the Vaseline for the meconium, the first poops. That's apparently like, not apparently, I changed my sister's daughter's one now in December and it's literally, it's not great. So I've got that, I've got a dummy, I've got bum cream, which I don't know if I'm going to use any of this. And then for here, I've got the Western powder the, um, and the surgical spirits for his umbilical cord. So that's really what, I've, what I'm packing for him. Um, I don't know if there's anything else i really overcomplicated this oh i am taking like two sets of like warmer blankets it is end of feb i mean it might be beginning of march it might be tomorrow we don't know um i am just gonna roll with it i feel like my mom's not a fussy person i didn't grow up with pills and powders and things and so i'm gonna try and implement that from day one and i'll have an entire medikit with me because that's not the way I am. Um, I'm not a you know, overprotective person, which I'm sure will change. But yeah, I think that's really my hospital bag. Okay. Oh, a few more things. These were highly recommended by all of you on my question check on Instagram. So I decided, I think this is one of those, or like these are one of those things that you pack them and you don't know if you're gonna use it, but just have it anyway. It's a little night light because if you feed at 2 in the morning you don't want to put on the main switch in the bedroom and then my um true me days white noise in the chin machine um really can't wait for this like 
out of breath moments to be over anyways white noise machine night light that's going in whether i'm going to use it i can't tell you and then last but not least my docker tot is also going with and um, so this is a lounger that i'm going to use and i'm really excited can we just take a moment to think there's going to be a baby in here anyways that's it that's what i'm taking to hospital and i think my advice would be keep it simple i might feel completely different afterwards and feel like i needed an entire spa or i feel like i just stay naked i don't know we'll have to wait and see